and here we are with a local New York City rock star. And, um, Pansy! Pansy! I've seen you guys play um, multiple times at um, Bowery Electric. We just had a gig there on Sunday with the Wild Street. Yeah. And it was pretty uh, pretty intense. Good. Yeah. Good crowd? Yeah, very good crowd. Yeah? Yeah. So who's in the band these days? Um, we got Hawaiian. Yeah. You know, um, Tattoo Man. I um, love him. We got DC. Uh, we got a new guy, uh, John Servo. You know Servo from Bile? Well, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I know and, well, uh, oh yeah. Yes, like how well? Well enough. <laughs> <laughs> that um. I'm gonna hear it. <laughs> uh, I feel like sharing. <laughs> oh, that's a skeleton. <laughs> 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 And then uh, we got a, uh, we're trying out, we actually have a new bass player, which is a surprise. So, um. So you gotta come see you to see who it is. You gotta come see us to see who it is. Is it somebody that's like been on MTV? Oh, um, no, but he's been around. He's been around the scene, he's toured, he's been in big bands, yeah. Like, can you say, name some bands he's been in? Mm, not really. Like no, Bird he asked me not to, no. Nothing like that, no. We'll Google he it later. Not to. We just have to come see you. It's a yeah. secret. You're not going to email it to me? I'll email it to you. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a good thing for Pansy. So um, what else is going on in your life? Well, we, we got this new album called Love and Blood. Oh. Love and Blood. Produced by Stacey O'Dell. So Love and Blood, does that have a significant meaning? Yeah, it took us a year to record it. It's 11 songs. And, um, you know, my dad died in the middle of us recording that. And the wow. producer, Stacey O'Dell. Was and, he sick? He was sick, yeah, for a long time, but it happened. Yeah. And um, same thing with Stacy's dad. His dad died, too. So it's sort, of, sort of like, you know, that's the love part. And the blood is more like, you know, all the hard work you put into it and stuff like that. Of course, so, of course. So how did Pansy like get together? Um, It's what funny. Uh, there's this place called Greenhouse I used to hang out at. And I saw Johnny there all of a sudden after like 20 years. And he's like, hey, man, you want to keep the band, man? Come on. You know how he talks. Hawaiian? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, at first I was uh, apprehensive about it, uh, maybe, I don't know, blah, 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 but uh, it turned out to be well. And then uh, we got DC, who I used to play in a band with around here like 25 years ago. No way. Yeah, way. Like the Spiral Days. I remember Spiral. Yeah. Oh my and, uh, Do you? Yeah. Alcatraz really? and Wild Spiral Hud, was... those days, you know. Alcatraz. Uh, Continental, and they actually... Had bands, yeah, right. which wasn't that long ago, but it no, feels but, like no, it. No, but in the heyday, yeah, in the heyday. It's day. been that long? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the last time I was there for a band. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, I was there I uh, went to a reunion. in the early 2000s. I, I did a benefit for a friend of mine who died. And, uh, you know, this was just before they were about to close. But they're coming back, supposedly. Hopefully they do. Continental? Yeah. With bands? With bands. Oh, so the pool thing's not working for them? Uh, I don't know. I know. <laughs> I don't either. I know I don't go there. Well... Well, no, not anymore. Not, not since yeah. they stopped having bands. All right, so where are you playing next? Uh, the next place we're playing is probably uh, going to be this place, Archon, in uh, Brooklyn. We're on Greenpoint with one of the productions. That's TBA. That's going to be sometime in March. Okay, right. so that's cool. Keep everybody posted. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, I'm spamming okay. everybody anyway. So I just want to interject. You know, I was a little surprised when I heard your music. It was that good. Really? Like, I, I was like, okay, you know, I get hit up on Facebook. Of course. Constantly. I know. You send me that email back. back. It remixes this, that, and everything. And then I heard this. It's like, wow. It really so, blew they're me awesome. Right. Well, all right. Well, Jezebel, all right. especially. Um, yeah, yeah. Jezebel, I had a cat named Jezebel. Really? Mm hmm. I used to call her Jezebelly Button. <laughs> I did. She that was a black cat. I know. Oh, God. She would be able to tell stories, that cat. I'm not even going to let you know any of them. But um, you, you have an ear for all kinds of music. And, like, when you say, I'm surprised how good it was, like, what does that mean, actually, to you? Because, yeah, what does it mean? Yeah, because, you know, you're a DJ, and you get things, like you said, thrown at you all the time. Like, what makes something surprisingly good, and what makes something go into the pile like that you would never even look at it? There's a lot of cookie-cutter music out there these days, and, you know, I guess people get a hold of software, and this is what's available, so it's sort of, it's more of a jigsaw puzzle to them than something they really feel. And then when you hear this, it's completely organic, it's completely, you can tell if somebody actually feels what they're doing, you can hear it, you can feel it just yourself. All right, I get it. I, 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 I don't He's know. He's a dude, psyched. Yeah, and then yeah. So, that's, that's, that's now, good. Now it's, now it's your turn. Well, 
Yeah, well, I've seen you guys live, and I know that you put on an amazing show, and you guys are all really, you're very simpatico, you yes, know? Like, yes, you I really agree. all blend together, I and agree. you're all different at the yes, same time. Yes. Like, you each have very a distinct personality, but yet there's that together. common thread that, like... It's rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. like the Big Bang Theory, you know, how they all fit together. You know, I haven't seen you on the Big Bang Theory, actually. Actually, yeah, that's probably where I Do you I love that show? Like that. Love it's that actually show. a great show. Really uh, I actually didn't like it at first, but then I started watching it. Because now it's in residuals. It's, it's like it's you, can't, you can't you can't miss it, right? It's like Seinfeld back in the early 2000s. Exactly. So who are your inspirations? My inspirations, um, if you want to speak, the dictators. All right. You know, Manitoba. What do you think of Manitoba? I love, I love him, man. I'm so he great. loves he himself, too. Let him. I love him. I know. He's hilarious. He uh, does deserve it. Motorhead. Okay. Uh, Ramones, obviously. Uh, Kiss. Woo! Uh, you know, all the New York, you know, um, New York Dolls. Love do you them. like any band not from New York? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a couple Motorhead. Of Motorhead. Right. Um, you know, my, my musical taste is kind of eclectic. I mean, I love New York, trust me. I'm born here, and, you know. I mean, you know, a lot of people say, you know, it sounds like Danzig, or it sounds like uh, uh, the Ramones, or it sounds like this I don't or think something you sound like that. Like... You know what? It's basically all about our... Um, so when you were... All right, it's about where you grew up and, like, your blood. Right. right. I kind of wonder if they think it sounds like it or if they think it feels like it, because all that stuff that you mentioned are... Real people doing real music. It not feels like it. We do what we like to, you know. We so feel the music. Really we do what we, we, do what we want to hear, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I just wonder, what was your favorite club back in the day? Like, where did you used to sneak into? Scrap Bar. Uh, you didn't have to sneak into Scrap yeah, Bar. Yeah, Why, you get kicked out? It wasn't they that big. Me. They always ID me. That place. But that was like this big. New Music Cafe. Okay. Canal Street, which is the Canal Room now. Right. Uh, CB's, obviously. You Where's the trying to bring Brad? Well, for the for the for the older shows, yeah. Okay. Oh, the Ritz. Now that's where I would sneak into. I used to work the downstairs the store where it's now the the, the studio of West Hall. Yeah, and I know. I know all the underground tunnels at the Ritz because I used to work there. And, and I used to work there too for years. Oh, Me too. you know too. Ballingers, yeah. Oh, how totally. funny! Do you uh, know that I read yesterday they're turning it into the Ritz for one night because Axel Guns and Roses oh, yeah. is playing on February fifteenth. One hundred and thirty-five dollars a ticket. And they're turning it. They're going to call it the Ritz for one that night. one night. And it's been Webster Hall longer than it was ever it was like the Ritz. Nineteen ninety-one. Yes. I can't yes. believe how long Webster Hall. I remember I was a busboy there when it first opened. At Webster Hall. Yeah. Wow. And when did you work there? DJ? Um, yeah, I DJed in all the rooms, and I was also their sound sound guy for... Remember Vanya? Yes. DJ? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I know. We all come, you know, we all come from the same scene, just different parts of it, you know, especially in Canada. Okay. You know, like, me and, me and DC were more the, like, the Lower East Side guy, and, um... Uh, Hawaiian was more the guy that goes to Scrap Bar and like the cat club and stuff like that. Scrap Bar, all I can remember is schnapps. Yeah. <laughs> they had every flavor of schnapps in the world there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It was a fun place. It was a fun time. It was a fun time. There was no cell phones. No. Cell phones were like this big. There, there yeah. was no internet. Like, it was, there, was there was no internet. There was, it was just, you know, internet came out when they closed down. It was like computers were like two, meg two megabytes hard drive. So, um... Pansy, back to Pansy. Um, Got your hat. This is, I love it. You effing Pansy. You fucking Pansy. Okay, you fucking Pansy. Yeah. <laughs> in in your in your in your words, what is a Pansy? Well, it's weird. Um, a lot of people think that we, you know, uh, Pansy comes from actually, uh, you know, uh, your Pansy, but really, it's a. Uh, it's a flower, isn't it? It's it's not about the flower either. It's about it's actually it's World War Two. I know, but I like it's about know. World War Two, and it's what the Allies used to call the Panzer tanks, mm -hmm. pansies. And then it was a pansy shoot them, shoot them up, you know. Cool. Meaning what? Meaning they blew blew the shit out of fucking pansies. That's what they meant. It's like a Charlie tanks. Tanks, you know, Panzer tanks. A tank is a pansy. The, the enemy tank was a pansy. Ah, so like it was like you would play like the game and put the light on that thing and blow yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You could say that. Yeah. All right. I get it. I get it. So what's your website, Pansy? Uh, we're, we don't have a website yet, but you can uh, get, catch us on Facebook, P-A-N-Z-I-E. Uh, you can catch us on MySpace, Reverb Nation, slash Pansy. Um, we got uh, the got whole album. Got a lot album. of YouTubes up there? A lot of YouTube. All you got to do is just, we don't have a channel yet. We're almost there. But uh, just check us out. You do a search for Pansy on Google. We're the first thing on there, so. And, and it's P-A-N-Z-I-E. 
I-E. And where do you want to be in like one year with Pansy? Um, world touring, tour. World tour, 117. Because Pansy's, Pansy's an arena rock band. And that's what we want to be and that's what we want to do. You right. Know, when, you, when you hear us at a big fucking place, you fucking hear it. You know what I mean? It's pretty loud in your face and people are just like, and you have a great front man. Yeah, well, he's a, he's a pro. He's, he's really good. He's, you know, he had his band back in the day, Rosary Violet, and uh, they did very well. So it's his comeback. And it's, a, it's a mellow comeback, but it's a good one. It is a good it's one. It's a good one. Well, thank you so much. Do you have any last shout-outs? Oh, but before we kick you out of your chair, yeah. we like to get a skeleton from your closet. A skeleton from my closet. And it is National Baked Alaska Day. So, um, we have the top of Baked Alaska with us, which is a meringue cookie, oh, yeah, and um, you get that when you when you tell your skeleton, my love. Yeah. Mine. Um, no, they're, they're good, right? I love them. Uh, skeleton in my closet. See, it's kind of weird because I really don't have anything to hide. You know, it, it doesn't have to be hidden. Well, it could just be a goofy story. Of all right. Um, stuff. I'll tell you a goofy story. I used to work at SIR, and uh, I worked at the studio on 52nd Street. And uh, there's a little old guy with rolled up in a limo, and he's coming for a rehearsal. And he asked me, uh, hey, you know where I could smoke a joint around here? I was like, well, I want to smoke a joint, too. So, yeah, uh, I do, but you got to smoke it with me. And then uh, all of a sudden, he's like, no, that's okay. So he walks out, and he comes back in. And he goes, uh, all right, uh, uh, I'll, I'll take you <laughs> on on that. So we go downstairs to the basement in the boiler room, and it's, like, dirty, and it's skanky, and it's skeevy. We're smoking a joint down here, and, you know, bullshitting and, you know, making small talk, and I said, thank you, and he was very nice, and we walked back up the stairs, and I said, hey, you know, I told him my name, he's like, oh, um, um, sorry, but it was Art Garfunkel. Oh! <laughs> he's like, oh, by the way, my name's so Garfunkel, Art Garfunkel, and then, like, two weeks later, he got busted on the LA, smoking a joint his limo. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. He, he, he almost raised with there you go. There you go, Mr. Pansy. Thank you so much for visiting and come back any time. Thank you. Any time. We're all kind of funny, right? I got CDs for you. Yay! We like people like Pansy. And we'll be back with more. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah